Hi everyone, Amy Galper here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to make your own beard oil featuring essential oils. I have a lot of men in my life who have beards, like my cameraman and my husband, so I thought it would be really fun today to show you how I make a simple beard oil. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, welcome. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you're alerted every time I make a new video about essential oils, aromatherapy, aromatherapy certification, uh, product formulation, and aromatherapy entrepreneurship. So, are you ready? Let's get into it. The first ingredient for our essential oil, beard oil that we're making, is Atlas Cedarwood. The botanical name is Cedrus Atlantica, and it is steam distilled from the wood of this very powerful and strong and ancient tree. This particular species of cedarwood actually grows in one area of Morocco and also in Lebanon, and it has a rich and ancient history of inner strength, resilience, power, and also it just smells lovely and has some beautiful aromatherapeutic properties like being antimicrobial, skin soothing, anti-inflammatory, and it is just a wonderful oil to use for the beard. The next essential oil that we are going to add to our blend for our beard oil is sandalwood essential oil. Sandalwood's botanical name is Santalum album, and it originates actually from India. But unfortunately, after centuries of it being over harvested and uh, not really ethically farmed, the Santalum album, this particular species, is really hard to find an authentic one from India. So now we are finding some beautiful sandalwood farms actually in Australia, where they have taken this particular species and able to farm it ethically and responsibly in Australia. So this is where this particular sandalwood comes from. Now, sandalwood, like cedarwood, is steam distilled from the wood of this tree, like Atlas cedarwood, has a long and rich history of ceremonial, ritual, and religious use. Its aroma is soft and woody, and it has the aromatherapeutic properties of being antimicrobial, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and just generally soothing for our central nervous system. It smells incredibly beautiful along with the bergamot and the Atlas Cedarwood, making for a woodsy, very masculine, very earthy, lovely scent for our beard oil. The next essential oil that we're going to add to our blend for our beard oil is bergamot. Now, bergamot essential oil is cold pressed from the peel of the bergamot citrus fruit. The botanical name is Citrus bergamia, and you'll often see the fruit as being this kind of ugly, bumpy, greenish, hard-looking citrus fruit, and the peel has some amazing aromatherapeutic properties, such as very strong anti-inflammatory. In fact, it even shares some chemical constituents and molecules that lavender has. So what that tells us is it offers a real soothing effect to the skin and to our mental state. So for a beard oil, it's not only going to smell really lovely paired with the Atlas Cedarwood, but it also is gonna be very calming, both emotionally and for our nerves, but also just really soothing for our face. Now, one thing I do wanna mention about bergamot essential oil is that you wanna make sure, especially if you're using bergamot essential oil on the face or on the skin, that you always get it with the bergaptine, this one molecule removed or isolated out. And the reason is because that molecule, bergaptine, is actually really phototoxic to the skin. So whenever you are purchasing bergamot essential oil, make sure your supplier can provide for you a bergaptine-free bergamot essential oil. So 
Everything that I am using in this recipe is linked below in the description, including this specific bergamot essential oil, so you will know that you will be getting one that is free from bergactine. The next ingredient that we're gonna need for our beard oil is a carrier oil, meaning we're gonna need a plant oil, one that has been cold expeller pressed from a seed or a nut in order to dilute down our essential oils and also provide a very emollient and softening and nourishing element to our beard oil. So for this recipe, I have chosen apricot kernel or apricot kernel seed oil, which is cold expeller pressed from that inner kernel from the apricot pit. Now, apricot kernel oil has some amazing therapeutic properties, primarily because of its unique uh, combination and arrangement of essential fatty acids. It's known to be very light feeling on the skin and absorbs relatively quickly. So when we're putting it on the face, especially in the beard area, it won't leave a greasy residue or feel very oily. It's particularly nice for skin that might feel troubled or injured and men with their beards, maybe they're shaving one day, maybe they're not shaving another day. So apricot kernel uh, oil is gonna be really gentle and soothing to skin that, that might feel irritated. Now that we've learned all about the ingredients that we need to make our beard oil, here are some of the blending tools that you're gonna to need in order to mix everything together. The first thing that I think is really important is you need a container in order to mix all the ingredients in. Ideally, you want something that's glass or stainless steel. I prefer working with glass beakers. One, because glass is super easy to clean and keep sterilized, and these little Beakers have the measuring uh, points on the side, so it really helps you kind of keep track about how much material you're using. All of these materials and tools that I am using in this video are linked in the description below, so you can see exactly where I'm getting it from and what I'm using. So if you don't have a glass beaker and you don't want to buy one, you can certainly use anything that you already have in your kitchen, like a glass or a metal measuring cup or something like that. You just wanna make sure that you're not using plastic. Now, the next thing that you're going to need is something to mix all of the ingredients together. I have here some wooden sticks. They're basically just tongue depressors, or you could find wooden popsicle sticks, or you can just use a metal spoon or a metal uh, stainless steel spatula or glass rod, but you're gonna need something to mix your essential oils with your carrier oil. Now, the other two things that I always have on hand as a kind of just in case are disposable plastic pipettes just in case I have trouble dripping out my essential oils from my essential oil bottle and I need to remove the orifice reducer and just drop out using the pipette, I can easily dispense out the precise amount of drops that way. The other thing that I always like having on hand are fragrance strips. So fragrance strips are made out of this specialized paper that's highly absorbent and you can drip a drop or two of your essential oil on the thinner edge of the strip and then smell it. This is really nice when you're not sure that you wanna use certain essential oils, or you're not quite convinced that the combination is gonna smell in a way that you want it to smell. So this is a way that I kind of test out the aroma before I start blending. And of course, you're going to need a bottle to put your beard oil in once you have mixed it all together. I really like using dark amber glass uh, bottles, like um, this uh, amber glass bottle. And if you'll notice, I have what's called on top a treatment pump. I prefer these over droppers because this way you're not opening and closing the bottle at which kind of invites the opportunity for your oils to oxidize. Here it will always keep closed and then you just need to pump out the exact amount that you wanna use on your beard. So now let's make our beard oil. So the first thing that I always do is I add my essential oils first 
into my beaker. So first I'm going to add my sandalwood essential oil. And I'm going to add four drops of sandalwood. Sandalwood is pretty viscous, so it might take a minute or two for it to come out. So I've added four drops of sandalwood. The next essential oil that we're going to use is Atlas Cedarwood. And we're going to add four drops of Atlas Cedarwood. Now this oil is also quite viscous, so I am actually going to take out the orifice reducer like this, and I'm going to use my pipette that I have handy, and I'm going to just drop out four drops of my Atlas Cedarwood. I'm going to drip back my remaining into the bottle, pop back in the orifice reducer, cap it, and now we're going to add our bergamot essential oil. And the bergamot essential oil, I'm going to add six drops. And once I have all of those essential oils in my beaker, I'm just going to kind of swirl it around a little bit to get it all kind of mixed together. And now I'm ready to pour in my apricot kernel seed oil. Now you can see on the side of my beaker, I have the milliliters lined out and a one ounce bottle is 30 milliliters. So I'm gonna pour in about 30 milliliters, maybe just come right under slightly shy of that line. And now I'm going to take a wooden stick and I'm going to stir everything together. Make sure that everything is properly blended. And now it is ready to pour into my bottle. So I'm gonna uncap my bottle and I am going to pour in my beard oil. And I'm gonna give it a gentle little shake and make sure that the pump works. I'm just gonna make sure that it's pumping. You can see it right there. This is gonna be lovely on the beard. So now that we've made the beard oil, how do we use it? How would we tell my husband or my cameraman how they can use this beard oil? So here's a simple way to use it. Because I've put this in a little treatment pump, it's really easy to dispense out the exact amount that you want. So after the face is cleansed or the beard is washed, like after the shower, and you can also use this throughout the day when it's feeling maybe a little dry or itchy, it'll definitely soothe that feeling. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have them maybe pump out one or two pumps, okay, in the palm of their hand, then they'll rub it together like this, and then if they have a long beard, like my husband does, he'll just like comb it through his beard or a short beard like my cameraman has, he can then just press it along his face like that and massage it into his face. So that's how you use a beard oil. And like I said, you could use this throughout the day as many times as you want. So. If you like this video and you want to hear more tips and tricks about how to use essential oils in products that you use every day, like cleansers and beard oils and other things like that, please make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you'll be notified every time I come out with a new video. And for those of you who watch this video, thank you so much. Make sure that you leave a comment. I really want to know what you thought 
Tell me what your biggest takeaways were. Tell me what you found most valuable. And if you have any questions about essential oils or carrier oils or aromatherapy in general, make sure you leave a comment. You can see my email below. You can send me a direct email or click one of those links below to see some of my free resources that I have available on my website. So until next time, I will see you in the next video.